I think this time right now when we're in this staggering global crisis um, is like a timeout. It's like somebody put us in timeout. And our mission is to not squander that, um, to really uh, reflect, to contemplate, to be in it fully and reimagine what the other side could be like. And we don't get a global opportunity like that very often. So I think it's a time of uh, just waiting and being and reimagining and there's power in it. And I think our salvation is in our imagination. So in the novel, Anna talks about her genius really we all have one. I really believe we all have a particular genius that's unique to us. Anna has one, she calls it her largeness. And her Aunt Yaltha, who is her lifeline and her mentor, and, um, and they have a sacred alliance, says to Anna, my largeness has been to bless your largeness. That's wonderful if we can have an Aunt Yaltha or someone outside of ourselves that can bless our largeness, our words, our quest, our passion. Um, but we can't always find that. And so we have to, I think, through just life itself, bless our own largeness. So yes, look for your Aunt Yaltha. Find someone who can bless your largeness, but be prepared to bless it yourself. That is to believe in yourself utterly. I was trying to figure that out, this very thing of what does it mean to cross over into older womanhood, to be a grandma, to um, be an older woman. What does that mean? And it is glorious, I'll tell you that. It really is. Once you get past the uh, transition in which you initially feel a loss of uh, something, you know, your younger self, you start to notice how you're treated a little differently. Once you get past all of that, it is incredibly freeing. In a way, you're free for the first time in your life. And I felt free to say what I wanted to say, to do what I wanted to do. Um, in my novel, The Invention of Wings, there's this line I love. I loved writing. And it's about the character Sarah. And Handful, who's this enslaved woman, looks at her and says, why she is distilled down now into a good strong broth. That's what it's like. <laughs> you just get distilled into this good strong broth and you go on creating with more wisdom, I think with more passion, with more power, 